Okay, the next position um, I like to put this guy is what I call a mug position. So that will be um, over a particular guard. You know, so he he actually he actually becomes um, like a flex three technique. Okay, and um, it's really good in today's game with all the with all the pulls that go on particularly if you're facing uh, a team that runs the uh, the counter, GT, read play. You, you know, as defensive coaches, um, we can easily be outnumbered here. So, you know, we're telling uh, 94, in this case, to, to, to read a particular guard, okay? Um, that guard here being to the back. So he reads the guard and he goes with the pull, which is good, right? Because, uh, and Oklahoma's great at this, because 71, as he's blocking down, he'll get your backside linebacker if 94 isn't there to take out, to take that out, which then clears your, clears your backside, backside linebacker. Without 94 being there, coming over, though, 71 will climb up and, and pick up your backside linebacker. Same deal here. Take a look at it from the back angle, where the poles are coming from, right, depending on if it's a this was not a running quarterback, depending on uh, if it's a running quarterback or not, obviously is what uh, 99, the uh, five technique, whether he's trying to chase or not, but, or whether he sits, right? That's really based on the kind of quarterback you're facing. But 94 is going to do the same thing. He's reading the guard. He's going to climb over. He's going to just find, he's just going to find that next um, available gap. Right, you're not going to ask him to climb over top of blocks. He's going to stay at the heels. He's going to stay at the heels of the D line, and he's going to um, find the first available opening to be able to make a play. Oh, uh, the Leo. And yeah, it's good if you can walk him into it. You know, and not give it away, but you can see right here, 94 kind of walking, walking into the mug technique. His focus is on the guard, and then he's able to he's able to come over, um, find the first available gap, right? Be aggressive. Do not try to climb over blocks or create seams in the defense. Just be aggressive as you come over, take the first uh, available opening and make a play. Another good one from this position, right? Because he's there um, all the time and, you know, maybe he's going with the pull. But another good one from this mug position is to operate a squeeze, uh, squeeze scrape. Right? And again, again, it depends on whether the quarterback is a runner or not. But here again, it's just a call between him and the uh, defensive line. But you can see he starts in a mug, but we're going to go squeeze scrape. And he's now going to, the, the uh, five technique is going to be your, your, your guy who's got to cross the center and go with the pulls if necessary. So now, now that center blocking back, right, um, can't get back, can't get back to your mug player and he's able just to bend and make the tackle. That's if the quarterback's not a runner, right? If it was, if it was a quarterback who was a running quarterback, you'd want to operate this squeeze scrape and have a uh, 94 take the quarterback. But in either case, you are creating um, offense on defense, right? You're making the offensive line pick up which really is a pretty simple uh, movement, right? Because you're not you're not affecting your linebackers. Remember, you're 
you're teaching their line, your, your linebackers, their gaps ba based on the formation or anything else you want to teach, right? You're just doing, you're just doing all this with the front, uh, the front four. And now he's on block there. Starting him in a mug 